should buy us some time. Until the next wave arrives, that is. All right. The area is clear for now. Let's talk. Where is Edric? He... he... didn't make it. What? Why? How? Last time I saw him, he still had Maelus on his side. Don't tell me the wench hurt him. No. I did. What happened? Shortly after you killed Maelus, he got promoted to Justicar in her stead. He started tracking me to bring me back for execution, claiming I was a traitor to the Republic. I tried to avoid the fight, but there was no way around it. Something got in his head somehow and turned him against us. Something? You mean Hemlock. The bastard must have manipulated Edric's loyalty to turn him against us. I don't know. He might be a harsh man, but he took risks so that I could escape alive. He gave me another chance. I know deep down he cares. Or cared about us. Why would he suddenly send Edric to take me down? <sighs> it makes no sense. We were the children of Hemlock. He wouldn't want to pit us against each other. I wouldn't be surprised if this is another wicked game of his, testing Edric's unwavering loyalty. Let the stronger of the three survive, discard the weak ones. Damn, Edric. Why couldn't you see through this? Val, I know this isn't easy, but we have to keep moving. I... Uh, I know. I... I'm fine. I hate to say this, but we need to split up, if only for a moment. If the both of us go in there, more undead will pour in from the outside, trapping us. I'm not about to jump into this death trap. So, I will stay here and stop their advance as much as I can. You bring any survivors back to the light. Yes? I don't like this, but you're right. Are you sure you can hold? I will hold. I'm not giving up on you. Just like you didn't give up on me. I'll see you soon. The fabled Vault of Hope. Daybreaker's holy ground. The cult of the sleeper turned this place into a graveyard. That's not happening.
can't do that right now. power. in a sanctum. This gate has not been breached yet. Daybreakers! Is anybody alive? Come inside! Quick! More will come! Light's mercy! Who is he? What does he want? Friend or foe! Let him through and close the damn gate! You heard the man. Don't worry. I'm here to help. We have met before. You're the one from the Shadow Wall, aren't you? Yes, it's been breached. I've come to get you guys out of here. Valeria is up there, stopping new undead from flooding the vault. This is our chance to get everyone out. Let's go. Are you listening? You're an Ascended, aren't you? I'm the guy that wants you people to get moving. Wait, uh, what's an Ascended? The Ascended are exceptional people whose fate is intertwined with all others like them. Tapping into their experience, just as they tap into yours. It takes practice, but should you be looking for it, you could feel the bond with other Ascended if you meet them. You would feel our bond. You're saying that what happens to me happens to you? Yes. I'm sure your head is full of questions. I shall tell you what I know once the situation is secure. If Valeria is up there on her own, we cannot linger down here. We must take the chance she's offering us. Fine. What's the plan then? We will open the Dawn Gate and carve our way back to the sunlight. Tell my men when you are ready. You're wounded. You think you can manage? Focus on your part, and I will focus on mine. The old man wants to storm our way out. It's now or never. It won't be easy. Even though you cleared your way down here, more of them will come from the other wings. 
They will enter a frenzy when they feel that they can access the inner sanctum. Open the dawn gate! One with the light! One with the light! Do not falter! The searing song is with us! They're sending our own brothers against us! They are mere shells! Push them back! We made it! We survived the onslaught! Easy now. I wouldn't be so sure about that. There you go. Reform the line! Get ready! We can't hold them all. We have to close the gate. Dawn does not hide from darkness. This is our only chance to get out. There is no going back now. Bloody zealot. Your men will die for nothing. And they will do so defending what is right. As long as one of us remains, hope is with us. You will see us through. There's too many. My abilities have limits. We shall see about that. You will take what's left of my powers. Reveal your true potential, Ascended. Fight like you have never fought before. Stand tall, brother. The darkest nights make our light shine the brightest. We oh, are coming. Stand ready. It's not possible. Among us. Ah, and Athea's heard our plea. Ascend it. Embrace her lights. Seize the opportunity at her altars. One last stand with the searing song at our side. One with the light. Not happening. 
spending all they have. They want to darken her light. <laughs> Shines bright on us! Rally by the dawn gate! We are moving out in full force! You did well. One last push, and we'll be out of this graveyard. You took your sweet time. Apologies, Princess. I had a few setbacks of my own. Shut up. Gather around the pyre. Her light shines through it. Still alive? Somewhat. You did well, sister. I know. Get yourself patched up and rest. I'll get us out of this. Easier said than done. Your friend is not going anywhere in her state, and neither are we. I can manage. Spare me. Your pride will only lead you to an early grave. We will get you back on your feet, but right now, you need to rest. So what's next? You bring the fight to them. You make them pay for the death of my brethren. At first, the waters of the Galatha River dried up all of a sudden. It used to flow gently from the nearby town of Helmshire down to our walls and past us toward the Galatha Falls. But before we could investigate, we got reports of a wildling army marching our way. While you were fighting them, the Cult of the Sleeper used the riverbed to funnel an undead army toward the weakest point of our walls. That's how the bastards broke in. Go upriver, reach Helmshire, and find the origin of this undead tide. Stop whatever is causing this. You and I have much to talk about once this task is done. Find Helmshire. Stop the necromancers. Got it. Brother, come back in one piece. Understood? Don't worry. I'm coming back either way. Victorious or zombified. But I'm coming back. Clever boy.
Hi, customer. Welcome to my humble stand. Tell your friends, Mojave stand in the palace district. All right. At least they don't expect a counterattack, let alone from a single foolish soul. Hampshire's outskirts, not a living thing in sight. Sleeper turned everybody into an undead servant. The feeling of their soul magic gets surprisingly familiar after a while.
can't manage that right now. Graves, scent of rotten flesh, necromantic rituals. Why purifiers choose to chase Val rather than clear this place is beyond me. They've lost focus on what they fight for. Is too damaged to walk. Master Nurakai wants us to transport them to the nearby city of Cordenon, a token of good faith towards our allies. I see. What happened to that city? The Lamba happened. The cult of the Aberrant's new gift to this world. I hear it likes to have new toys to play with. We got rid of the Brotherhood in the region. Cordenon is controlled by the Aberrant. And Helmshire is ours. Our endeavor will soon reap its rewards. Indeed. All this death and suffering will cease. Then we shall find peace. We shall all find peace.
finish that one. Not possible. That's not happening.
The Undead Tide's origin is up ahead, and of course, what's the first thing to welcome me? A bloody sulfurous smell. I took you die down, didn't I? How much worse can this one be? that my troops did not get the best of you, Bane of Yudai. Seems that way. You know me. Not really, no. I just know that Yudai greedily tried to make you his own, underestimating you in the process. A mistake I plan not to replicate. Let us talk, mortal. I am curious about your kind. My kind? We both know that you are not part of the cattle, or you would be Yudai's vessel by now. So what are you? A half-breed? Of whom? Who made you? An ascended, whatever that may be. Do you know anything about that? How peculiar. You don't know what you are. Careful, young one. The ignorant are all slaves. You must be lost in this vast world. Poor soul. You're having fun. You die at his moment too. Remember who you're talking to. Demons don't last long against demon slayers. Isn't that how it works? Your bravery taps into the same ignorance that will see you fall. I had time to prepare while you made your way here. Let me show you. Come for Is that mercy? An astute observation. The two of you have met already, I believe. Oh, come on. I killed that guy already. Death is merely a journey, not an end. But don't you worry. You will join him. <laughs> I will have you meet her, to tear her limbs apart! Not happy.
right now. Ended. The flow of undead is over. You are not sending him there alone. And who am I supposed to send? I have no men to spare, Valeria. But we still need the Hellion back, or all is lost. What's going on? You and your powers are nothing but tools to serve his plan. That's what's going on. Valeria. We should leave, brother. Go on our way. The Republic, the Brotherhood, they're only good at sending us to die for their grand cause. Well, enough, I say. Let's make our own fate. There's nowhere to go. Leave? Where? We'll find a place far from all this mayhem. You can't escape it, all right? For what's coming, there is no hiding under a rock. You want peace? Oh. You will have peace, don't you worry about that. Just not the way you think. Ganez, what's that supposed to mean? The unholy alliance called the Covenant of the Blind is trying to summon an entity named Ariman, the fallen Duke of Fury. The Blind Prince, as they like to call him, waits patiently in the abyss while the three lesser cults lay waste to three cities, channeling energy toward the ritual place. What if they succeed? Pacification. Pacification is what awaits us all. I've seen the Cult of Fury turn my strongest men into mindless thralls. They'll drain their will to resist, to fight, to feel anger or self-survival. It will spread to all of us should we fail to stop the ritual. <sighs> the end of free will and the rise of a new mankind. United in eternal enslavement. The fear in Stormfall is fueling the ritual, empowering this Arima. Yes, Stormfall is one of the three cities that will be consumed in time, if we do not stop the ritual. Each of the three cults from the Covenant of the Blind is making sure of it. Stormfall is handled by the Cult of the Sleeper. The nearby city of Cordonon was converted by the Cult of the Aberrant, and we expect the capital city of the Republic, Gehenna, to be on the same path as we speak. Then I suppose you have a smart plan laid out to stop it all? No. Not a smart one. A desperate one. I want to reassemble the mythical Hellion, the artifact that founded the Brotherhood of Dawn. With it, I will be able to conjure the power of Anathea herself, closing the abyssal portal and ending the ritual. You're sure it will work? That's the only plan we have, given the time left before Fury's ascent. Val, what do you think? The next part is what bothers me. He wants to send you, alone, to get the first part of the Hellion. Well, now that Edric has gone, I'm not losing you to a suicide mission, no matter how desperate we are. So, I'm coming with you. At least if we fail, we'll fail together. Yes? We won't fail. No matter the odds. Gunez, where can we find the first piece? It used to be held within the Vault of Hope where you found us. But after the nearby city of Cordonon got attacked by the cult of the Aberrant, an overzealous group of the Brotherhood crept into the vault and took the relic to bring it to the city and protect its population from evil. They never came back. But there is a chance that that half of the Hellion is still there. Following in the footsteps of dead men. Oh, I like this plan. Let's go, Val. The sooner this is dealt with, the sooner we go home. We don't have a home to return to. Stormfall is homey enough. If she's still standing after all of this, I'm friends with the Merchant Prince. Somehow. Nothing will stand in my way. <laughs>